Hi guys, I'm Kasha. Welcome to the channel and welcome as always to our coffee times. We're here today to talk about the books that I'm going to try to read in the month of September. It's coffee time. So September is around the corner and I decided that in September I'm going to be doing a reading challenge. It is a really cool reading challenge based on the 70s created by Books of Blood aka John. So some of the books I'm going to be talking here are going to be to fulfill those challenges and then I'm going to add a couple of more into the mix. So John from Books of Blood created this challenge. He posted about it and it's called the 70s reading challenge and all of the prompts are inspired by quotes, so horror movies, horror books that are based in the 70s. So I thought it was really interesting. I really loved the video so I'm gonna link it down below for you guys in case you want to rush and join us but I'm going to try to fulfill all of the prompts I am going to um, kind of combine a couple just to make my life a little bit easier but let's first talk about the books I'm going to be reading to fulfill those challenges. The first challenge is to read a book that includes a demonic possession or an exorcism and since I have been meaning for the longest time to finally read The Exorcist by William Peter Blatty, I decided this is the time now. The Exorcist, the original movie, is one that is really important to me because it was one of my first ever horror movies that I watched as a young kid and it always left an impact and I think that movie is just so amazing. If you watch it now it still kind of holds its place and it's still a great horror movie. Now I don't know if the book is going to be really similar to the movie or not but I've heard the book is really good and I feel like now the time has come for me to finally read it. Next is to read a horror novel about a real hunting like a true crime story something that actually happened and I found a book here that I'm going to be listening to in audiobook it has to do with a true crime serial killer but also it is a rumor that in the place some supernatural forces were also operating at the time so this is I believe a non-fiction book and I'm gonna read the title for you because it's a little bit long, so bear with me. It is The Horrors of Fox Hollow Farm, Unraveling the History and Hauntings of a Serial Killer's Home by Richard Estep. So all I know is about this guy that used to kill men. I don't know much about the story, I was not familiar with it, but I do want to either, you know, listen or read to more non-fiction true crime stories. So this one is going to be perfect. So the next one is to read a horror novel about the Vietnam War or about a Vietnam veteran. And I was a little bit like, oh my god, what am I gonna read here? But John did recommend a book and I have not read it, so I think that's the one I'm gonna pick here. And that is The Night Walker by Thomas Tessier. And it is about an American that lives in London. And he starts having headaches, starts feeling a little bit weird. And basically, at some point, he develops this hunger that he cannot control. Yes, this sounds exactly like an American werewolf in London. Um, and this one, it is a story that was written in the 70s. So I believe it also takes place in the 70s. So I'm going to be doubling this up with the challenge of reading a horror novel that it is based in the 70s. Moving to the next challenge, which is to read a horror book about a killer animal animals and for these I'm going to stretch it to monster or creature because I really want to read of men and monsters by Tom Deddy and this is if the other one doesn't count for the 70s this takes place in 1975 so we are covered <laughs> and it's supposed to be a really dark coming of age story and the true meaning of what it is to be a monster so I'm thinking it's going to 
play again with um, monster creature and monster human and that is something that I love to explore in books and we follow the story of this kid that moves with his mom to the seaside looking for a new fresh start away from the abusive father and he just wants to have a nice summer but everything is going to be interrupted when there is a monster that appears and then I'm going to be doubling up again on challenges I'm going to combine the read a horror novel by an author that had his first published novel in the 70s with read a horror novel that has a 70s cover style for that I'm going to be reading The Colorado Kid by Stephen King. If the cover is really 70s or not, I'm not really sure 100% but we're just going to take it <laughs> um, because I really want to read this one. It's one of those odd cases in which uh, there is a Stephen King book that I still have not read which is the case of this one and I recently got it and I really want to dig into it. It also takes place on an island which is perfect. I love to read things based on islands even though September is not really summer anymore but this takes place on an island off the coast of Maine and a the dead body of a man appears ashore and apparently the more they investigate the dead body with the autopsy the weirder and weirder the case it becomes that is all that I know and I'm super excited about this one and the last challenge to fulfill is to read a horror novel with creepy or evil children and for this I'm going to read another classic from the 70s that I've never read and that is The Others by Thomas Brion and this all I know is that it deals with two 13 year old twins and one of them is good and the other one is evil. I haven't heard many reviews of this book and I'm really intrigued because you guys know I love creepy children plus this one has twins and it was I think first published in 1971 so it's an oldie but I just really want to know what the story is about and how evil is this twin. And then I have a couple of arcs that I would like to read. The first one is When Things Get Dark and these are all short horror stories inspired by Shirley Jackson's work and it is edited by Eden Ellen Dadlow. And this includes tales by Josh Mallerman, Paul Tremblay and Stephen Graham Jones. So I'm really, really excited for this one. The Liar of Red Valley by Walter Woodwater and this is fantasy horror. It's something I don't read so often so I'm excited to check this one out. It is based on Red Valley, California which is a place where you need to follow the rules if you want to stay alive. That is where our main character Sadie is going to learn and apart from that she's also going to learn that there is many secrets in this small place and also some of the people that live here might not even be human. And if I have time I would like to get to The House of Dust by Noah Broyles. This one I had on my TBR previously and I didn't get to it but this is supposed to be a really good atmospheric southern gothic story that also is kind of merging horror with religion and it just sounds really interesting to me. I had it on a TBR pile before and I didn't get to read it so if I can hopefully I'll be able to get to it in September. Alright you guys so these are all the things that I have put on my TBR pile for the month of September and that I hope to be able to read but as always I'm allowed to change things around because I don't want to put too much pressure on myself anymore and have like super fixed TBR piles but I still like to have an idea of the books that I want to read because it does help me to keep a little bit more focused on the books that I want to finally get to. So I hope that you enjoyed the video. Let me know down below if there's anything in the month of September that maybe is coming out or something that you just purchased that you would really really like to read in the month of September. Let's talk about what are we going to read in September in the comments down below. Thanks so much for watching guys. Please give the video a big thumbs up for support and also remember I hope to see you all guys as always in our next coffee time. Bye!